In this video, we'll see how to stream on a Decast Live channel using the classic OBS Studio encoder. I'm in the Live Channel section of my Decast account. I can stream on one of my existing channels, or I can create a new channel. In this example, I'll stream on this HTML5 channel. I'll open this channel and go to the Encoder Setup section. The first encoder listed is OBS Studio by Decast, which is a free, Decast customized version of OBS, providing an easy and streamlined integration with Decast. But if you're using the classic version of OBS, choose Other RTMP Encoder. On the right is the data you'll need to integrate OBS with Decast, so keep this page open. If you don't have the classic version of OBS, you can download it from obsproject.com. With OBS Studio open, the first step is to add the stream source to OBS. I'll click the plus icon under Sources, and I'll choose Video Capture Device. I'll choose Create New, change the source name to Webcam, and click OK. My webcam appears in this list, and I'll click OK to add it. In the preview window, I can size and position the webcam window. Next, I'll open OBS settings by clicking here. On the left, I'll open the stream settings. For stream type, I'll choose custom streaming server. This is where I need to enter the channel data provided in my Decast account. Returning to Decast, where I still have the encoder setup open, I'll select and copy the stream URL. I'll go back to OBS and paste this string in the URL field. I'll repeat this for stream name, which is copied into the stream key field. I also need to click Use Authentication and provide the username and password for this live channel. To change my encoding settings, I'll open the output settings. By default, the selected output mode is simple with this bitrate. You can change this, but it's important to be sure that your combined audio and video bit rates are less than half of your internet upload speed. Otherwise, you'll run into buffering issues. You can test your internet connection speed by going to the website testmy.net. The bit rate for standard definition is between 1000 and 1200, high def is 1900 to 2000, and for full HD at 1080p, I'll need to go up to 4500. Even though we recommend the simple output mode, you can switch to the advanced output mode offering more streaming setting options. If you use this mode, be sure to keep the keyframe interval set to 2 seconds and the rate control set to CBR. I'll go back to simple output and click OK to close the settings. To test whether my stream is working, I'll click Start Streaming. The green light and time counter tell me that everything looks good. I'll return to Decast, where I'll open the Publish Settings page. Before sharing, I'll click Preview to make sure that the stream is working correctly. Now that my stream is ready to share, I could use the Embed JS or iframe code to embed in a web page. Or I can use either of these identical share codes to view my stream in a web browser. If you have any questions about live streaming using OBS Studio or any other encoder, please check out our knowledge base or contact us 24-7.